Hello Zebra Herd, welcome to Zebra's Arcade, a series where we try a new game every episode. Today we're trying Puyo Puyo Tetris 2, the ultimate puzzle match. Of course, this is the sequel to Puyo Puyo Tetris, which is combining the Puyo Puyo puzzle game and the Tetris puzzle game. It was wildly popular when it came out around the same time that the Nintendo Switch did, so I'm really excited to see how the sequel goes. So let's hop into it and check it out. So there's a couple of different game modes. We're gonna start with the adventure mode real quick. Um, sure, set the auto difficulty. I'm really bad at Puyo Puyo Tetris, or at least Puyo Puyo. Not too bad at the Tetris huh? part. Where am I? And while we're at it, who am I? This feeling, it's growing inside me. A great and mysterious sense of duty. That's right. My name, it's Marl. Hello, Marl. Yeah. It's all coming back to me. It's just like you said. My powers are meant to serve the world. <laughs> In that case, there's only one thing to do. We have to go to them. And I'm sure that in context makes sense of the first game. I don't know, I really don't remember. But yeah, we'll just play a couple levels today and see how it goes. So one, a fateful reunion, a Puyo Tetris battle. I guess so. So, um, yep, one, one. I'm Let's here. hop into it. Well, yeah, there's a lot of story. It's such a peaceful day. So peaceful and quiet. It's so peaceful, I could just sing at the top of my lungs. Hmm. Actually, come to think of it, as great as peace is, it's actually kind of boring. It'd be more fun if something crazy and over the top happened. Like, if all my friends just came bursting out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that's nonsense. Something like that would never happen on such a peaceful day, right? Don't speak so soon. Huh? I think you caught it. Ouch! Where am I? Pee pee! Ah, well, can't say I expected something like this. Um, hey, Mr. Tight Clothes Skydiver? Are you okay? Pee pee! Oh, hey there, little yellow guy. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. <clears throat> Captain's report. We've been summoned here by the Keeper of Dimensions. X, we appear to have crash landed. And we've done so right in front of a young girl with unusual hair. <laughs> Is he reporting to that yellow ball? Hey, you seem like you're doing all right. Oh, hang on. Haven't we met before? You know, I was actually thinking the same thing. T, oh, glad to see you were able to land safely. You, with the weird outfit. I was just about to remember something, but you crashed so hard you made me forget again. You look kind of familiar yourself, now that I think about it. But enough distractions. I've got to figure out what's going on. Between this guy with the super tight clothes and this yellow fluff nugget. How the heck am I supposed to process what's going on? I'm sorry, but there's no time to explain. Ringo, T, I know this is sudden, but I need you two to battle. Okay, sure. It's just like that old saying goes. When things don't make sense, battle until they do. That's gotta be why you want us to battle, right? Exactly. Ah, of course. Whenever a problem presents itself, the only solution is to battle. <laughs> He's cute. Hey, you're pretty sharp. Well, you said it best yourself. Now, are you ready? Let's do this. Puyo Puyo time! Tetris time! It's, it's on. on! Huh? He doesn't play Puyo Puyo? She doesn't play Tetris? But that's... Oh no, we're starting! 
All right, so here we go. So I guess one person's a Puyo Puyo, one person's a Tetris person. I'm pretty sure the Tetris characters are supposed to be like original characters to these two games. And apparently they already knew each other. I don't know if she forgot her memory or something in the first one, something like that. But either way, versus pop away and attack with garbage Puyos. A game over for your opponent is a victory for you. So it looks like first off we're starting playing Puyo Puyo. Um, we're just supposed to beat T. Um, 4,000 points for three stars. I'm really not good at the Puyo Puyo part. I'm much better at Tetris, but we'll give this a try and see how it goes. But the goal with Puyo Puyo is that we just match colors, just like um, we would with like Bejeweled, I suppose. Um, but it works a little bit different. We can do that. Oh no, I messed up. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, we can make it work now, as you can see. Um, oh, we got the blue ones coming in. And ultimately, the goal is just to make as big of a stack as we possibly can. Got purple ones coming in now too. Hmm. Yep, there we go. That's good. And then if I do this and that and that, that should connect all those. Those will fall. And you can see you can make these like cool little combos like that. It can be tough to do, but if you do it correctly, it works out quite well. Weird that that didn't make this go off. All right, weird. Yeah, I'll just try my best to make some combos here. It, it definitely seems to be basically the same game, but more so far. It's just like, you know, another story, another um, set of situations where we can play Puyo Puyo and we can play Tetris at the same time. But I love to hear which one is your favorite out of the two. Do you enjoy Puyo Puyo more or do you enjoy Tetris? Tetris is definitely the more popular of the two. And of course, a lot of people play like Tetris 99 and all that kind of stuff. Hmm, I guess I'll put it here. I'll get rid of that one garbage block. The gray blocks, and you can see those on the Tetris side, they're like little gray Puyo Puyo eyes block. Um, they're both called garbage blocks. They basically just take up space and make it more difficult to solve things. All right, we can do that. That'll land right onto there. Oh, we got the, everything's all tripled up right now. There we go. Okay, keep going. And I guess we're just supposed to keep going until one of them fails. Either me or him. I, I hope it's him because I don't want to fail. There we go. Um, yeah, we'll do that. That'll match up. And we're, we're, we're getting there. We're, we're still not quite at 4,000 points, but if we keep going. And it's quite simple for now, but I do think that it gets more complicated later on. Hmm. Probably could have done this one better, but what I can do is that, and that'll match up. I'll put the purple to the side. Actually, maybe I'll put the purple here. Hmm. Oh, there we go. The matched match. There it is. This will be a big matchup right here. Oh, I won. Awesome. It wasn't quite 4,000 points, like I said. Um, but I don't, I don't know. I think we did pretty good for a first round of Puyo Puyo. We were able to battle, but there's still so much I don't know. I should ask him. Yes, you should. All right, we only got one star for that. I'm so sorry, but like, hey, we, we won without making any like major mistakes. That's cool. We were still able to battle, even though he was using blocks instead of Puyo's. Huh, and I wasn't half bad myself. What were those squishy blobs with faces? It appears that when four or more of the same color match up, they vanish. I couldn't have described Puyo's better myself. You really are sharp. And you've got some serious skills. Lining those shapes up and erasing them, you made it look like a piece of cake. Ah, those shapes are what we call tetraminos. But first things first, you with the curly hair. Allow me to properly introduce myself. I'm Captain T of the SS Tetra. I'm also the Tetris Ooh. King. Well, my name's Ringo. I'm just a normal junior high student who's crazy about Puyo Puyo battles. Wait, Wait a second. second. I knew it. it. We, we have, have met, met before. Pee 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 pee. Excellent. You managed to restore a bit of your bond with each other. Oh, it's the confusing outfit guy. Yes, th that's me. <laughs> anyway, that'll be enough battling for now. Whew. Although, I know this is out of nowhere, but I need your help. Some kind of strange oh, it's sorry. trying to merge the worlds of Puyo Puyo and Tetris yet again. And they'd already been separated once before. Wait, wait, wait. Hold it right there. Separated once before? Does that mean this isn't the first time yep, this Yep, it is happened? a sequel after all. Uh, that doesn't matter now. 
While the two worlds had previously merged, the circumstances this time are different. Someone is behind all this. I can sense it. If the worlds merge, we'll be consumed by unimaginable chaos. And it seems someone is intent on unleashing such chaos. Oh. Oh. Sorry, this all just sounds like a huge deal. Honestly, it's kind of going over my head, but please, go on. Ringo, T, I need the two of you to work together. You need to discover what and who is causing all of this. Well, I'm off. You're what now? Jeez, I didn't mean to yell at him, but what the heck? So abrupt. Hang on, Mr. Fancy Suspenders. Are you going to help us or not? I'm sorry, Ringo, but I have matters of my own to tend to. There's an important task I need to take care of. And with that, I must return to my post. I know we'll see each other again, but for now... X, wait! I must leave it in your hands. Find out who's behind all this. Pee pee! Huh? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love these little descriptions. Well, better get started. You're handling this quite well. Yep, I stay calm during extreme situations. It's a strong suit of mine. Besides, I can already tell this is going to be one wild adventure. I can't take it. I'm so pumped. Let's do this! Even outrageously impossible requests like this get my blood going. It's curious, I must say. I can't tell my left from my right in this strange place, and I've been given an unreasonable task. Yet here I stand, undaunted. Alright then, awesome! <laughs> the characters talk a lot in this game, as you can see, but we're just gonna move on to the next level. One, a fateful reunion, two of mind and heart alike. So one, two, I'm yeah, here. okay. So we'll get this to try and see how it goes, I put they have to talk more. Okay, so, we've been asked, politely, to basically save the world. All we have to do is find someone without any clue what they look like or where they are. Where do we even start? Hmm. Now that you mention it, what we've been entrusted with is on a much grander scale than we are. Then maybe undaunted isn't the right mindset. Might want to be a little daunted. Then first things first, we must find others who are willing to help us. Good thinking. Let's do that. Pee -pee, pee -pee -pee. <laughs> Got anyone in mind, T? In fact, I do. I've been sending out transmissions via O. Unfortunately, communications seem to be taking a while. Pee -pee. So this little yellow ball, I mean, O, has the ability to send out transmissions? Oh, so he's the square block. That's right. O is my trusty sidekick. Because every Tetris character represents one of the Tetraminos. So T is obviously the purple T piece. O is the yellow square. You'll get a proper introduction later. Okay, then let's get my friends to help us out. We'll drag them along on this sketchy quest for who knows what. Interesting choice of words. Come on, let's go find them. Huh? Ringo? What brings you here? Looks like you brought some friends. A guy with one heck of an outfit and a little yellow. Some. I don't know why he has stars next to everything he says. Oh, hey, I was just looking for you. Guys, this is Maguro. He's a fellow classmate and my childhood friend. Hey, everyone. I'm Maguro. So he's an acquaintance of yours, Ringo? Then we should ask him to help us. Though, I'm not sure how to explain our rather complex situation to him. Hey, Maguro. Let's have a Puyo battle, right here, right now, and put your heart into it. Uh, what? Yeah, you've got to speak the right language to get through to him. The language of Puyo battles. Y I, I don't think it works that way. <laughs> sure, let's do it. All right, straight to the point. Ready? It's Puyo time! So it's like now we're just having a normal Puyo battle against Maguro. I think this is the last one we'll do in the story mode, and then we'll hop into some other game modes, because I think there's some other new stuff to check out, but you can tell the characters talk a lot in this. I don't know, I think that might be something some people will appreciate, some people might not appreciate as much, but this one is definitely gonna be a little bit more intense, so we definitely wanna focus in on it. Um, I'm thinking we'll do that. Well, maybe I shouldn't have 
but I guess like, oh, that was actually a really silly. But we can make it work. If we do this, we can match it up like that. The blue will fall down and we're good. We can keep rolling. Because I'm trying to look ahead on the top right of our little panel. You can see that. We can see what's coming up next. And that could be really helpful for just planning out our next couple of moves. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's not rush that much. Hmm. I might leave this over here for now. Get that there. Hmm. I think I'll do that. Oh, wow. Okay, that could be a problem. Uh, okay, still not what I want. We can, okay, he's almost beaten now. We, we almost got him. The Puyo Puyo battle is just, Puyo versus Puyo is definitely a lot more difficult for me. But so far, not too bad. Um, yeah, let's see this. Then I'll match this up here. Uh, yes, once again, I sort of was silly. Oh my gosh. Match that up. Uh, I guess I'll do this one. Not exactly what I was trying to do, but got that match of four. Come on, keep it going. He's starting to catch up a little bit, and I don't like it. Okay, we can at least see that. Then we can match these two. There we go, we're, we're working with stuff now. Yeah, if I match these here, and then, there we go. Then I'll match some of the red, then I can get a double match right there. Okay, he's almost done. We almost got him. Let's keep matching stuff. Awesome. Whoa, look at this. We got this stack going on. That looks interesting. Yeah, we got him. All right, that wasn't too bad then. Oh, he's all tied up. Oh, I guess it's one of those toys where you're supposed to bounce it off the mallet and then like land it on the top. And we got three stars for this one. Nice, Magro. You don't need words to get what's going on. All right, very cool. This is the first two levels of story mode. I would check out more, but I feel like it's a lot of listening and not a lot of playing, and I want to definitely get to some playing today. I think I get it now. So some mysterious guy shows up out of the blue and tells you that the world's in serious trouble, and now you, T, and his little yellow companion, O, are on a mission. A mission to find out who's behind all the bizarre stuff going on. But you don't have a single clue to guide you. Sound about right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Pee -pee. Something wrong? The way you communicate, it's on another level. And listening to you go over our predicament again is making my head spin. So much for being undaunted, huh? At any rate, count me in to help you out. Booyah! Maguro joined Ringo and T's party. I what? All right, let's keep it up. We've got more friends to find. Roger that. Wait a minute. What's our next destination? I guess we're gonna find out some other point. Cause like I said, I'm gonna leave the story mode with that for right now. You get to play through and I guess just do different things. Two levels is about 2.4%. So you can see there's quite a lot of levels to get through. Um, and we got different things. We have solo where we can play against CPU opponents. Multiplayer, which I don't know if I can take on random people because this is actually before the game comes out. Thank you to the developers for sending me an early code. And here's online, okay. So I actually don't know how many new game modes are. I thought there was going to be new ones, but we'll definitely just do some solo. So if we played Puyo Puyo so far, ah, here we go. So we have versus compete in a classic versus match where each player is free to select either Puyo Puyo or Tetris. We have skill battle, we have swap, challenge, big bang, fusion, party. So let's start with versus and we'll just do a single battle. I, would, I just want to do a little bit as Tetris now instead of Puyo Puyo. Oh, we get to choose different characters. So I'm guessing, yeah, on the top right of each character picture, you can see if they're Puyo Puyo or Tetris. And there's some unlockable characters too. So we got like a, uh, there's different ones for like different uh, shapes, but there's definitely more characters than there are shapes. So that's a little interesting. Um, I like a lot of these characters, but I think that I will go with, hmm. Oh, I like the little dog guy. I remember him from the first one. I barely remember anything, but somehow I remember him. Oh, I'm going to go with the robot. Oh, so we can still choose too. So if we did find somebody we liked over here, I'm going to go with, with Zed here. Who definitely represents, yeah, the red Z looking piece. I like that, of course, being who I am. Um, And I guess we could just choose somebody to go against. Uh, sure. Uh, 
So he's medium difficulty. I think I can handle that with Tetris. If you don't know how Tetris works, uh, very popular game, of course. All we're supposed to do is line up these shapes until we have a stack of them horizontally, um, and that'll clear it. Our goal is to get that stack as high as possible. Before we clear it, um, we get more points that way. So like, what I wanna do here is just keep stacking this up for now. Um, just like this. And I haven't played Tetris in a little bit, so if I am a little rusty, I'm sorry, uh, but I'll try my best here. There we go. So you can see I'm leaving this one extra space here, and I'm gonna be using that in just a moment. You'll see sort of what I mean. Just like this, boom, that'll clear four blocks super duper quick, and that's gonna be really good for us. Now, while I'm stacking it up like this, obviously it's a bit of a risk if they th start throwing garbage blocks at us. So I wanna be careful about that, but, but getting four blocks lined up like that is called a Tetris. So we wanna land as many Tetrises as possible. Tetri, I don't know if that's proper plural pronunciation of that. But either way, if it doesn't, like if we only get like one or two blocks, that's fine. Whoa, okay, that's a problem. Oh, that's a bigger problem. There we go. Nice. Got it. Awesome. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Uh, he's trying to catch up to me right now. This is getting close. I need to move faster. Okay, do this there. Got it. Good stuff so far. Awesome. Uh... Uh, I can put that there, I guess. Whoa, whoa, oh, he got me. Yikes. So it looks like my skills aren't up to what I want them to be, but I can try again, I guess. Or maybe, oh, look at that. Okay, so there's rounds. If you see in the bottom there, it says win. He's got one star. So yeah, it's a proper, like, long-term best of three kind of battle thing. That's interesting. I like it. Uh... Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So I'm trying to keep some in reserve here so that I can smack him with the double Tetris. That's what I'm looking for. That's the wrong button. But you know what? It'll work. Okay. So that's definitely sending a lot of stuff his way, but he's sending it right back over, and that's where things get really difficult. I don't know, I guess I'm not as good as I thought I was a Tetris. He's kicking my butt. <laughs> all right, <laughs> pitiful. If all you wanted was to be become a rust stain on my blade, you must have been desperate. That's so mean. <laughs> all right, well, I tried. I guess I'm not as good as I thought I was. Let's quit for now. I wanna check out some other steps. So, like, can we go back into solo? We have skill battle. Edit your team and challenge yourself in a skill battle. You'll keep going as long as you have HP remaining. I don't know if that's a good idea. I, I showed that I don't have very many skills in verses. Uh, there's swap, play two separate games at once with each board swapping out at set intervals. There's party, items appear intensifying the action. Players will have infinite lives as they compete for the highest score. And then Poyos and Tetraminas will both rain down simultaneously. That sounds fun, fusion. Um, big bang is attack your opponents by clearing preset Tetramino and Puyo patterns as fast as you can and challenge. Test your might with six unique single player challenge modes. Let's do fusion with battle. Let's go. So I'll choose somebody else this time. I still want to keep playing like Tetris if I can, but like we'll just I, I I don't get a choice for this one. Let's go. I think it's still on medium difficulty, so we'll see if we can't keep up this time. Oh, this is so interesting. This is just a little bit different. Whoa. Yeah, the shapes of them are odd. And that just changes some things up. But we also have that's so interesting. And we can put some in reserve. I don't exactly know how to feel about some of this, but I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, it's so weird. Because the Puyos don't match up with the Tetrises. Don't get that confused. Okay, I'm gonna hold that in reserve. I guess I'll get this here. And the Tetraminos will go straight through.
Huh. Okay, that's good. The least, I guess. Uh, there? No, 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 no. Uh, there we go. Awesome. Okay, so I'm sort of starting to get how we gotta do this because the tetramines will will just slide right through, so we can make a match like that. Oh my goodness. There we go. That's a big change. Uh, I could definitely get that there. Okay, it's blue now. I can change the color. Oh, interesting. I'm getting that now. Okay. I sort of wish I, I had uh, more Tetraminos coming in. But there we go, we got that line cleared. Got a big yellow one, I can mash it up there. Okay, not too bad. Get that matched up. Oh, here we go. <laughs> That's gonna clear that line. I'm gonna slam that one down that way. I think that was a good move overall. I guess I'll do that. Um, if I could, that's a big combo. That's not too bad. There we go. Oh, that could've been better. Where are my Tetraminos at? This is so weird. Yo, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this game so far. Um, I don't think this is something I would do a full series on, but I do think it's a pretty fun one to pick up every once in a while. I remember I got the first Boyo Boyo Tetris, and I found myself often just playing the Tetris part, which is why I was really happy when Tetris 99 came out, eventually it came out with like more single player stuff. Uh, because sometimes I just wanna play some Tetris, you know? And I think that's just the biggest perk to games like these, is sometimes it's just fun to pick up Tetris for a bit. Um, I guess I'll do that for now. I'm going to actually slam through the most of it like that. I don't know if this is the best move, but I'll do that. Slam through that. Got a big yellow piece coming in. It's sort of weird. Oh no, lots of gray blocks. I'm just trying to win, but the, she is so far ahead over there. How do they manage this? I am like just not as good as they are. All right, so the computers are really, really good at the game. Gotta be careful of that. Okay, we'll definitely do that. I'm looking for more pieces of Tetris, but it's just not working out that way. Um, get that there. Jeez. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Perfect. Those will fall. That will match up. Oh. Actually, I might hold on to that for right now. Got it. Oh, here we go, here we go. And now they're starting to stack up over there. We're making a comeback. We can do this. We can definitely do this. Uh, Get that there. Get that there. Gotta remember that we can change the colors of those at basically any time. The, the big four stack giant little droplet ones. There we go. Okay, got the green match. Basically immediately replace it with more green. Okay, here we go. Good stuff. Uh, now, wait, whoa, wait. Okay, yeah, give me give me the Tetramino, please. Okay, we'll do that. I don't know if there's a way to give myself more Tetramino, like is that something that's, oh my gosh, happening right now. Um, I don't know. Jeez, is there like extra stuff I could be doing? I don't know. <laughs> oh man, okay. Uh, I'm panicking, I'm panicking. I shouldn't have done it that way. That really messed it up. Ah, oh, they're so good. It's so hard to keep up with. So you get the idea of this one. I don't think we need to play too much more of it. I wanna be able to spend some time on some other game modes. That was interesting though, for sure. We're gonna try this as the last game mode of today. Attack your opponents by clearing preset Tetramino and Puyo patterns as fast as you can in Big Bang. So, I'll give it a try. I want to play as a. Uh... Oh. <laughs> He's so cute. All right then. So, I don't really care too much. Uh, random. Here we go. Whoa. All right then. Let's going against this. Sig. Let's see how it works. 
Ready, start. So I don't know exactly, oh, I see, whoa, lucky attack. It's very green. Oh, this is cool, I like this. So we only have these green pieces to use. And so far, turning out pretty well. This is so interesting. I actually really like this one. Ah, oh, I missed. Okay, so you just gotta keep going until you miss, I guess. There we go. The characters are so, so talkative. It's interesting. So I guess like that's the trick to everything here is not, not missing. Okay, come on. Right there. This is definitely not what I was expecting, but it's, it's very cool. But am I winning is the question. Like I have no clue. I can only hope. Uh, but it's like this like quick kind of like puzzle solving thing we got going on. Okay, one more time, one more time. Got it. Okay, one more second. Oh, so who won? He sounds so uninterested. Why does he get to keep playing? I guess because his combo is still going. All right, we're going for another one now. Big bang, whoa. So what do we do now? Oh, so I guess everything I did is hurting me. And like vice versa. I don't know if I could have done this better. Like I cleared it, but it wasn't at all clear. I don't know how I could go oh, manage it. But yeah, the, the computers in this game, they mean business. They don't mess around. There we go. I mean, I'm clearing a lot of stuff, but once again, it's not an all clear, seemingly. This one might end up being. There we go. And it still just says clear, it doesn't say all clear. So maybe it's just different for Tetris. Dang it, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. We're doing pretty good this time. I just gotta keep up with it. We only got a couple of seconds left. Ah, oh, it's over. Oh, and he missed too. But why my health bar is so low and it hasn't done any damage to him at all? Which is, oh no, okay, now the, whoa, the turnaround. I guess I did it. Too bad. Winner, okay, we won something for once. Awesome. <laughs> How cool is that? We're saving the replay. That's actually awesome. So there we go, there's a quick look at Puyo Puyo Tetris 2. Really fun puzzle game. On the main menu, you can also play just Puyo Puyo or just Tetris, if you please. But overall, pretty cool game. Thank you to, I think, the developer for sending me an early code to check out the game. I really appreciate it. And let me know, do you want to see a full series on this game? Maybe we can play through the story mode. I always love to hear your feedback on that. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Zebra's Arcade. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.